Hey guys, Will Mahan here with Saber Rune Design Tutorial Blog, and we make game with another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to first learn how to create a displacement map and then apply it to an image. Now, if you'll notice, I am using Photoshop CS6 for this tutorial, but if you haven't had a chance to pick that up yet, no problem, because all these tools are still available in CS5. So let's go ahead and get started. Go to File, hit New. Set your size at 1024 by 1024 at a resolution of 100 and click OK. Create two new layers by clicking the create a new layer icon. Reset your foreground and background colors to the default by hitting the D key. Now with the top layer active, go to filter, render, clouds. Now go to filter again and go to liquify. Now you can sink a lot of time into one of these trying to get the perfect pattern, but for now we're going to do a pretty random, really fast wrinkle pattern. Go ahead and check your brush size and set it to 400. Set your density to 50 and set your pressure to 50. Pick up the forward warp tool and just begin pushing around in places. Uh, try to come up, you know, with an something that approximates a wrinkled appearance. and that'll probably do for now. Once you're happy with the results, go around the edge and stretch the image so that it completely covers the canvas. We don't want any transparency around the edge. That'll cause us problems later on. Once that's done, go ahead and click OK. Now we need to go to File and Save As. Choose a directory and let's name this Displacement map and click save and we're done with that for now but we don't want to get rid of it because we will need it later so go ahead and turn the visibility off to that layer activate layer one and set your foreground color to pure cyan blue while holding down the alt key hit backspace to fill your canvas now activate layer two and set your foreground color to dark violet now go to edit Preferences, Guides Grid and Slices. In the grid pane, set this field to pixels. Set your grid lines to every 64 and set your subdivisions to 1 and click OK. Now while holding down Control, hit Comma. Grab your rectangular marquee tool and drag out a marquee that fills the first row. Double check to make sure layer 2 is active and while holding down the alt key hit backspace to fill the marquee with the foreground color. With the marquee still active, right click in the center of it and choose free transform. While holding down the shift key, drag the stripe until it fills the third row. Click the check to lock in the changes. Now while the marquee is still active, hold down Control, Alt, and Shift, and hit the T key one, two, three, four, five, six times to repeat that stripe and creating a pattern. Now go ahead and hit Control and Comma to clear the grid. Hit Control A to select all and pick up your move tool and align the vertical centers. Now hit Control D to clear the selection. Next we're going to go ahead and apply the displacement map to the stripes. So go to Filter, Distort, Displace. In the displacement window you'll see two fields, a horizontal and a vertical scale. Basically this is, determines how hard the displacement map pushes on the stripes to distort them. Every project is different and you will have to play around with these numbers on a case-by-case -case basis, but I find that 20 is a good place to start. So let's go ahead and set those at that and leave the displacement map and the undefined areas fields at their default and click OK. Now that will bring up the file browser, navigate to the folder where you saved your displacement map and choose it. Give Photoshop a second to process and you'll see that it's applied to those stripes. Now I know what you're thinking. Yeah, they're wrinkled, but so what? It's still not very impressive. Well, that's why we didn't delete the layer that we used to make the displacement map in the first place. So let's go ahead and turn the visibility to that layer back on. While holding down the Alt key, click and drag straight down to duplicate that layer one time. 
Now click on layer 3 again, change its blending mode to overlay and set its opacity to about 70%. Now activate layer 3 copy, change its blending mode to linear burn and change its opacity to 50%. And now as you can see the wrinkles and the stripes make a lot more sense because now the highlights and the shadows that we created with these two layers line up perfectly with the distortion in those stripes and the end result is a really nice looking wrinkled cloth effect. Now you can use displacement maps to achieve all kinds of really cool effects. There are tons of displacement maps available online for specific purposes, but as you can see we can create our own maps with a relative amount of ease. Now that's going to do it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time.